Hello crew and welcome to this playbook update and we are going to be looking at the swing failure pattern. Now there are a lot of ways in which you can trade this, some more advanced than others, but in this video I'm going to be going over what is basically the lowest risk way to trade this pattern um, with a pretty good <laughs> risk to reward ratio still without having to need any of the advanced techniques that you often see us going over, over with the trading rooms. So this is something that you can very simply trade off of something like trading view as you can see in the example that we have here without really looking at volume delta open interest and things like that okay so this is the swing failure pattern beginners um, course i guess with that however as you'll see if i just scroll down as we do normally i do still have this as an advanced trade okay this is because it is Possibly one of the hardest trades to take because you're essentially knife catching in one direction or another. You are trading against what the trend is telling you. Um, you are in a state of the market where there are heightened emotions, where there's stop hunts, where there's a lot of things going on. However, uh, if you can learn to master this trade, it is pretty much as good as you can get in terms of a <clears throat> kind of a reward that you can get off of this trade and the reliability of it um almost almost 100% um win rate on this trade for myself i know uh, luxury and other people who have traded this within the community have a very similar win rate on this trade as well however it is a difficult one to trade, so I'm going to go do my best to go over how exactly you can trade this and just um yeah, the ways that I see it being how we can trade this with a step-by-step -step process of what you need to look for in order to take this as a more beginner kind of trade, okay? So yeah, let's go through the notes and we're going to start. So a swing failure pattern is one of the best tools in the books and is something that any serious trader needs to have in their bag. It is where the majority of traders lose money, but it is one of the most profitable and reliable trades possible with a success rate of almost 100% if traded correctly. It uses simple market structure and consecutive ABC waves to trade. A reversal will always start in one of two ways, by making a lower high or a higher low, depending on the market structure that we've got, which is kind of our Trident or Quasimodo setup, or by getting a higher high or lower low with a failure to close the swing. Okay, so this is a candle close, a failure to close the swing, which results in this swing failure pattern. Okay, to trade this, you must be aware of your time frame and enter only on candle close confirmation of the time frame you're trading, unless you're using advanced volume delta and open interest techniques where you are able to catch that almost before it happens and able to anticipate that this is going to happen. You are looking for price to take out a previous swing, point A, but close back within it. Your entry would then be in the region between the close of that swing failure and the previous swing. A, with invalidation below the wick of the failed C wave. Take profit quickly when price action stalls or at the golden pocket region of B to C, with the target being to take out wave B. At this point, a change of market structure is confirmed and you can let the trade run if you wish to do so. Alternatively, you can close or trade in the opposite direction if a new swing failure pattern has occurred. Okay, so that's a bit of a mouthful. Okay, so I'm going to go over as that in as much kind of break it down to you as I can in as much detail as possible. <clears throat> so let's first of all look at this. So we're looking at this as basically price is cyclical. It just works in ABC, 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 repeating, repeating, repeating. Okay, so once you start to understand that you have these three waves, they can turn into five waves, seven waves, nine waves, they can do all of those kind of things. But you're basically looking at re repetitive ABCs. Um, as a as market structure and market direction now that is on every time frame so you can have an abc within an abc within an abc um, and you can have the consecutive ones as well which make up the bigger picture okay so what we're going to do here as is we're going to look at this one example as a very clear one where you do have your a and this is of course we're already in a downtrend at this point so we're looking at this as a swing failure of a low we are already in a downtrend okay so the example is here we have had abc abc down 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 and now we're putting in this new a which would have been a c wave so this is a previous c which is now an a for this new wave so we have the a 
the B, and then we have the C, okay, so it comes down here, but the important thing is, this has failed to close below. So whereas you're looking at an A, B, C, on this time frame, you do not get this C wave. This is invalidated because you did not get a close below. You can see here you have a wick that comes through point A, gets a close back above, fails to cause a swing on the price. So you have a swing, you have a swing, then you have a swing here which has failed to close below point A. So a swing failure of point C, which gives you no close below that level. So what this does at that point is that gives you an entry trigger on this candle close confirmation to look for an entry to take price back up to take out this B high. And you are looking for your entry between the point in which this candle closes and the A of the previous swing, okay? So you can, of course, take your trades lower down here, but at this point, if you do come below point A again and you start to close below there, that does mean that this is no longer a swing failure because you have candle close confirmation below. And that would be not necessarily an invalidation on the trade because you still do have a wick below. Okay, this has initiated a new wave structure at this point. However, you would not be wanting really, wanting really to enter in positions in, at this point. Okay, so again, hopefully that means that makes sense again with your A, your B, your C, your close, you would be looking for an entry between your candle close and your point A, not within this space here. And then your invalidation would be if this C, failed C, does get taken out. Okay, so your invalidation is at this C low. So entry, invalidation, then you have your take profit up here. So you are looking at your take profit of the 618 of B to C. Okay, so you can take it all the way down to the wick, pull your fibs from here to here, and you're looking at your 618 level uh, in order to take profit on this, or basically as soon as price stalls on the time frame that you're looking at, okay, because you don't want to run, run the risk of this rolling back over, continuing in this market structure. Remember, we're still in a downtrend at this point. This is still a lower low. However, it is a fail to close lower low which does initiate the possibility of a reversal in the market and a very reliable possibility at that. Then of course you have your target up at this B swing high here, okay? So entry within this area, invalidation down at this low, take profit, golden pocket, and your target above this B swing high. Now at that point, you have initiated a change in market structure, especially if you get a close here, okay? So if you do get this close, then again, you can choose to let this run. You may get a pullback, but you can let this run to higher targets, which gives you the better risk to reward. Now, of course, if this candle that we're looking at here were to close below, that would now have initiated a swing failure pattern of this B. So we would now be looking at this as an A with a new B, and now this being your new C, which of course, if you got this close below, you could then trade that back down to take out what would become this new B wave. Okay, so that's what I mean. Price is cyclical. Every A can be a B, can be a C. It just depends on where you're starting things, what time frame you are looking at. Um, and even within this, you have an A, B, C within an A, B, C, and much, much more. So I'm just going to go over now on <coughs> the chart itself to go through a little bit more detail on this. Okay, so here is our example. And of course, this is Bitcoin today after we have taken out these lows at $39,500 was the swing failure pattern that was initiated. Okay, so what we had over the course of the past day of price action was we have this lower low, okay, after a downtrend, a lower low that has occurred, putting in a lower high, your A, your B, you come down here, you take out this low, but you do not get the close below. You get a close above, which then gives you an area in which to buy in order to aim for price to come up here and take out this high, okay? Now, this doesn't need any kind of open interest, delta, volume analysis on it. You're simply waiting for that candle con close confirmation, and then you are remaining patient in order to get in at this area 
with your invalidation down here and your target eventually being up here. So we can see how this has played out. Let's just say, for example, you were able to scale in within this area. You got an entry around halfway down. You put your invalidation there and you were aiming up at this high. You can see how we got that move down into your reference point. Again, this is point A. This is your reference. Then you get the bounce into your golden pocket before consolidating there and finally coming up here and taking these highs. Now, this is why the time frame in which you're trading <coughs> is very important as well. So a way in which to understand what time frame to look at and ones that I would recommend you look at is, first of all, if you're looking at scalp trading, if you want to be scalp trading, you want to be on the one minute, the five minute, maybe the 15 minute chart, okay? If you're day trading, Start from the 30 minute, okay, that's what we use for our market profile. The 30 minute candle closes are very strong. That is a really, really good one to start with. So if you're day trading and you want to day trade swing failure patterns, start on that 30 minute. You can, always, you can also look on the one hour and the 15 minute for that as well. So either side of that. Again, 15 minute can be used for scalping, but again, more so for these day trading. And then for swing patterns of this swing, failure pattern or for swing trades of the swing failure pattern, I'd be looking at the four hour, the daily and those higher time frames. Okay. So for this example, we're just going to stick to this half hour. Okay. And what you want to be doing is you want market structure to be clear on that time frame in which you're trading. Okay. So we can very clearly see here, high, a low, a low, lower high, a lower low, a lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, high, low, high, low, all these a, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C, coming all the way down, low, high, low, lower high, lower low, change of market structure, swing failure pattern, okay? So this is how you can start to identify what time frame you do want to be trading. The problem if you come onto this five minute chart and you try to trade off of this five minute chart, first of all, you don't have it as a confirmation here, okay? But what you've got within this is you've got a lot of chop in between. This is almost too high of a trend to be trading on these low time frames. So sometimes you just need to step back a bit, look at what you can fit onto a screen and start to actually have a look at it this way by trading the, the time frame that just makes sense to the price action that is currently going on. So um, again, because you can trade this on any time frame, just be aware of the time frame in which you are trading. So we're going to look at at a few more examples here, if uh, if everyone is still following, we're going to look at a few more examples. So that is the example that we did have today. Now let's go back, and this is just the charts that we do have. Once again on Bitcoin for today, and now we can kind of go on to these lower time frames. So you can see the big swing failure pattern that we did have. Okay, that is still there on this chart, but look within this. Okay, we can zoom in. We can see that a range was put in earlier on today. Okay, let's just remove this golden pocket region. We don't need that anymore. We are now trading these lower time frames. We can see this range that's put in, deviation at the highs here, a range between these levels. Okay. And then what does price do? Whoops. Uh, then what does price do? We have this A, B, C coming down here which is taking out this previous one, two, three kind of thing on here, okay, A, B, C on here, with these lows having been taken out, you get the liquidity below this range low, you get the candle close above it, initiates a reversal in which you are looking now to take out this point B, if you're looking at this as an A, B, C kind of thing going on on this chart. Okay, so we do have that example of a lower time frame swing failure pattern on here. And then of course it does reach your target higher up. Here as well, this is another example that we have just had on this chart. If we move over, another range that's been put in. Okay, so you put in this range, deviation at the high of it. <clears throat> here are your lows. You take out this low, not once, but twice. Okay, we've got two of them here. You have a low here, takes it out. 
you so you do get your this little ABC at this point within this little ABC within all the others that are going on you take out the low you close above initiates a move higher you come back down you take out this low you close above initiating a move higher okay and you can take a look at the the golden pocket regions for your retraces on all of this as well just to understand just how often these things do occur uh, if we go back a little bit okay so we have another example just here so here we go another one where you have a range that has been put in you take out this high you initiate a move down where does price come it doesn't get its full reversal but if you put on your golden pocket you hit take profit one then get stopped out of this trade you can come further up here i've got a few more examples up here you have one at both the highs and the lows so on this occasion not on the five minute chart but this is going back over towards this 30 minute so this is a larger time frame trade that we do have and again the 15 minute chart showing this as well but you take out your high you get your close below initiates that move down where does it come to okay into that golden pocket region and eventually of course coming lower then again going on to the five minute chart and trying to find this back on here and we're going back this way we have no this wasn't the five minute chart oh, i just made a mistake there but uh you get the idea on a higher time frame you would have had this close back above let's just find it 15 minute chart that would do so you have your swing failure pattern of this low with of course a move <coughs> sorry into that golden pocket region before of course getting that lower move down now this is showing a lot of examples and this is why it becomes a little bit more difficult to trade because you've got to almost trade the the higher quality ones you can see them all over the place in the chart but again you want to be sensible with this you want to be doing ones where you have confluence in order to take these trades yes you can scalp them and if you're taking profit very very quickly and uh just as, like I say, as soon as the price stalls, you're taking profit and then getting out of that trade, that's okay. But you do want to be taking the higher quality trades as well. So finally, I want to show an example on this asset here. Now, this is a daily chart and this is Swissborg, okay? Another asset that we do quite like to trade within this community. And we've had a really nice example of this. Now, this is something that does make it a lot easier to trade. So if you're in a range, okay, so you have an ABC, an ABC, an ABC, all of these just repeating kind of swings within the market. And at this point, what do you see? You have a quite a clear low that has been established, puts in a range, moves back in, takes out this low, then importantly, closes above it, creating that swing failure pattern. And then of course, what are you looking to do is you have your golden pocket area up here as a take profit, but ultimately you're looking to take out this high, which would be your A, A up here, this creating this larger B, the C swing failure, and then you do take out these highs up at the top here. We've had this previously on this chart as well. So we can look at an example of it just... Well, let's have a look first of all at these highs okay so here's a high you have an a a b coming down here making your c but failing to close initiates that move down then what happens at this point is you initiate that move down all the way back down to the bottom of your range where now you have this new a which was your b from this wave but now you have new, this new a this new b and then this failed C, which comes all the way back up. Where does it come back up to? The reference for this initial trade here. So if we do extend this along, where does it come to? Back into that area. Rejects once again, comes back down. Oh, and then look at this. We have another one. Okay, so you come back down. You have a move below. You fail to close on any of these candles. You fail to close below. Initiates a move back up into, I'm not sure if this came here, I haven't actually looked at the example, 
Of course it didn't. Like, I don't know why I was <laughs> saying that it would because I was way too high. But it, it does get the bounce and it takes out some highs at the very least, okay? So hopefully that clears up this trade a little bit and does allow you to be able to go away and start to look at just how often these swing failure patterns do occur. Um, again, just remember the golden rules. <clears throat> be aware of the time frame in which you are trading and be aware to only take the trade unless you are comfortable with the volume delta open interest analysis, which we will go over in a video in the future, but only trade it on candle close confirmation and trade it by the rules that are set out within this video. Okay, so finally, I hope everyone enjoyed that video. Um, I'll be back next week <laughs> with another one. And yeah, happy trading enjoy trading this do let me know how you get along with it it's a really fun one of course to trade it's one that we trade all the time uh, take a look at it any questions as usual just let me know and yeah thank you very much for watching and goodbye